Apple is still working on finding a partner to get AI into that market. I want to know how it stacks up in that sense, taking on the Chinese market without this key component. I think it's going to be very difficult. I think iPhone has a decent stronghold in the China market. I think according to the last quarterly report from Apple, the greater China business segment actually grew by 4% on a pretty large base. So I think the Apple fans in China will continue to probably be Apple fans. But will their share grow without AI, particularly without a leading model partner domestically to really enhance Apple's own AI? AI capability is going to be a very difficult proposition. I think earlier this year, there were fairly reliable rumors that Alibaba will be the partner for uh, Apple when it comes to uh, AI model uh, partnership, but that hasn't really translate into the product itself or new features uh, at all. Meanwhile, you have Huawei racing ahead with its flagship iPhone or its flagship uh, smartphone. Uh, Xiaomi is doing the same. And I think one thing that is uniquely challenging for Apple as far as the ecosystem play, not just a smartphone play, is that some of these leading Chinese brands now have a much larger ecosystem where you know, Huawei users can also so not only have its phone connected to their only equivalent of an iPad, but also smart appliances and also Huawei powered EVs. Xiaomi users can do the same thing. While the ecosystem within China, and I will say in the United States as well, for Apple products is relatively weak compared to that scenario. So it's going to be difficult. Uh, and without a local AI model partner, it's going to be even more difficult for Apple to, I think, grow its share meaningfully uh, compared to other brands in greater China. Now, as there is this huge race in AI domestically in China as well, is it going to be the deep seeks or is it going to be NVIDIA? I think those are uh, two kind of layers in the stack, right? And uh, I recently wrote a post on what I think may be the real DeepSeek moment that just came a couple of weeks ago when DeepSeek released its new 3.1 version model. Now, what is interesting about this release isn't actually the release itself, but a rather cryptic comment that the DeepSeek uh, team uh, appended uh, right at the bottom of the announcement post explaining how a new data format that it is using for its model uh, will be supported by domestically made Chinese AI chips, which are all, of course, in one way or another competing with NVIDIA for market share in China. That sent uh, the Chinese stock market into quite a frenzy those last uh, those couple of days. Uh, companies like Cambricon, which is a chip, which is a fabulous GPU designer, you know, had multiple double digit growth uh, days of its stock price before coming down to earth a little bit. Uh, you had other similar companies companies like Morse Thread and the SMIC, which is the national championship fabrication uh, uh, facility, all going up after that cryptic comment was posted. And you're really seeing, I think, a interesting structural shift in this AI race, where the Chinese version or the Chinese take on artificial intelligence may be more software-led. And that leader is the DeepSeek AI model, when up to this point, Emily, uh, every single thing in AI has been primarily hardware-led and primarily NVIDIA-led. NVIDIA's product, which has been racing ahead with performance gains and more TCO, is the reason why OpenAI can do what it does, which is why Anthropic can do what it does, but it's entirely led by NVIDIA's capability. But DeepSeek's uh, you know, comments and evolution could potentially be another way to evolve AI in China that is software-led, that is AI model-led, where the hardware makers are coalescing around what DeepSeek needs to make DeepSeek successful, which will kind of change the entire uh, fabric of this competition.